Hi guys, this is Mrs. Heisenbuttle and today we are going to be talking about the different kinds of robot behaviors. We're going to start with complex behaviors because that's the big idea. That's what you want your robot to do. It is the main task that you want it to accomplish. So in this case, the main task for our little robot, our complex behavior, is to finish the maze. So our robot is going to finish the maze like so. So he goes up, he comes over, and he lands in the finish box. The maze is done. So then we need to talk about simple behavior. You take the main task behavior, which is the complex behavior, which is to finish the maze. That's your main goal. And you're going to break it down to smaller chunks. So we're going to break it down to step by step. The first step is to go forward and turn right. Second step is to go forward and turn left. The third step is to back up, and the last step is to move downward. So these are the sets of step, the sets of steps that you break the complex behavior down into. And so it's going to look like this. So he goes forward, turns, goes forward, turns, backs up and goes down. So there are our simple behaviors. Now for our complex behaviors, it all did it as one because we just said finish the maze. So that was just one big complex behavior. But that's really hard to program a robot with only knowing the complex behavior. So you have to break it down to sets of steps. Okay, first we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this to get that done. Well, those simple behaviors can also be broken down into basic behaviors. In this case, we have to turn on the motor. Then we have to go forward for two seconds. Then we have to turn right. Then we have to pause. Then we're going to go forward for two more seconds. Then we're going to pause. Then we're going to turn left. We're going to pause again. Then we're going to back up for two seconds, pause, go down for one second, and then stop the motor when it hits the finish line. So that these are all the individual steps that are going into those sets that we did for our simple behaviors. And the simple behaviors are sets that go into the complex behavior. You can picture them as ever, ever shrinking boxes. So the complex behavior is the big box. Slightly smaller, you got a, bunch, a couple of simple behavior boxes. And then inside each simple behavior box is four or five really, really small basic behavior boxes. So he goes forward. He turns, he goes forward, he turns, he goes backwards, he goes down, and he stops. And that is our set of basic behaviors. So I'm hoping that this helped you to understand how complex, simple, and basic behaviors are all connected to each other.